guys. Today I am filming from my dining room for our first chapter Friday. And this week our book is Saving Winslow by Sharon Creech. You may remember Sharon Creech is the author of such books as Hate That Dog, Love That Cat, Moo, uh, Walk Two Moons, or um, a whole plethora of other books. And we have a lot of these books in our library, and also they're available uh, through the CALS, through the Central Arkansas Library, if you use your CALS tech card. So, we're going to read our first chapter of Saving Winslow, which you can see is a Charlie Mae Simon nominated book. And remember, if you read three of the nominated books, then you'll be able to vote on the winner for the Charlie Mae Simon Award this year. We usually vote uh, like the end of April, beginning of May. The state will let us know when they are ready to receive our votes. So let's get started with chapter one. And chapter one is called, What Is It? In the laundry basket on the kitchen floor was a lump. Another dead thing? Louis asked. Not yet, his father said. It was the midst of winter when night, like an unwelcome guest, came too early and stayed too long, and when each day seemed smaller than the one before. Louis's mother stared down at the basket that her husband had brought into the house. Another one of Uncle Pete's, I presume. Uncle Pete had a small farm on the outskirts of town. Anything to do with Uncle Pete usually involved Louis's father wasting time or money or doing something dangerous like chopping down trees or racing tractors through mud fields or disposing of dead animals. Louis's father had already brought home and buried two piglets that had not survived their birth. Louis knelt beside the basket, a small gray head with black eyes and feathery eyelashes and sticking up ears emerged. Attached to the head was a trembling thin body and four long spindly legs all of it covered in splotchy gray fur that was scattered with brown freckles. It was not a dog or a cat. It was a pitiful looking thing and it was gazing at Louis. He felt a sudden rush as if the roof had peeled off the house and the sun had dived into every corner of the kitchen. A goat? he asked, kneeling beside the basket. No, it's a donkey, his father said. A miniature donkey, born last night. A miniature donkey? Louis's hand cupped the donkey's head and patted it gently. The donkey seemed too weak to move. Is something wrong with it? The mother's sick and can't take care of it. Oh, poor mama and poor baby, Louis said. What will happen to it? It'll probably go downhill pretty fast. It might last a day or two. No! So his mother said. Why did you have to bring that donkey here? Why did you bring it home if it's just going to die in a day or two? I don't know, his father said. I felt sorry for it. I thought maybe we could watch it at least until you know. Until it dies, he whispered the last words. The donkey made a small noise that sounded like, please, Louis lifted the donkey from the basket and held it close. It smelled of wet hay, and it put its face against Louis's neck and made that noise again. Please. Okay, Louis said. I accept this mission. What mission? His father asked. Why, to save this pitiful, motherless donkey. And so there you have it. So now we know that Louie has accepted the mission to try to save the little donkey that his father brought into the house. And remember, it is a Charlie Mae Simon nominated book, Saving Winslow by Sharon Creech. It's available both in the Williams Library if you're a face-to-face -face student. And if you're a virtual student, use your Cal's Tech card to get it from the Central Arkansas Library. Or it may also be available on Lexia or Myon. If you have problems finding the book, get in touch with me. You know, you can message me through Schoology or you can call me at 501-447-7106 if you have any questions or if you need a Cal's Tech card or have questions on how to use it. Hope you enjoyed First Chapter Friday and I look forward to seeing you next week.